Hello, Matthews Gatos here. In this video, I am going to talk about the LCM. Not licorice, chocolates, and marshmallows, although that would be a yummy video. I'm talking about lowest common multiple. What is it? How do we find it? Well, lowest common multiple is if I were to list out numbers and start skip counting their multiples, the lowest common multiple is the smallest one that matches. So let's start with two numbers. If I want to find the LCM for two numbers, I want to look at after I've listed out the prime factorization, all the common factors for the two numbers, and then multiply by the leftovers. So let's try an example. LCM of 60 and 48. So I know 60 is 6 times 10. Well, 6 is 2 times 3, and 10 is 2 times 5. Then I'll list out 48. Well, I know 48 is 6 times 8. 6 is 2 times 3, and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Now you can switch those around to be in order from small to big, that's fine. Or we can just go ahead and figure it out. So lowest common multiple, let's look at what they have in common. So I see that they have a 2 in common. I see they have a 3 in common. I see they have another 2 in common. And that looks like it's it. So we always want to look at what they have in common because I want the lowest common multiple. And then I just multiply by what's left over. So what's left is a 5, a 2, and a 2. So I need to multiply all of those together to come up with the lowest common multiple of 60 and 48 is. So 2 times 3 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 2 works out to be 240. Now I'm about to show you a mind-blowing trick and you're going to be so glad you watched this video because I am going to show you how to find the lowest common multiple on your graphing calculator. Here we go. To find the lowest common multiple on your graphing calculator, well, we're going to go into our graphing calculator and we're going to do some math. So go into math, go over to number, and then look at option number eight, the lowest common multiple. Oh my gosh, Miss Gatos, why didn't you show us this before? Well, I wanted you guys to learn how to do it with prime factorization first. So here's your reward for watching this little video. So the first one, 60, and then comma is right above the 7, 48. Close your brackets, and boom, we get 240. So we know we did that correct. Okay, let's look at how we do lowest common multiple when I have three numbers. So three numbers, do the prime factorization. Multiply factors in common for three numbers by factors in common for two numbers by all of the leftovers. So let's try an example on this. So I want to find the lowest common multiple for 10, 15, and 20. Okay, 10 is 2 times 5. 15 is 3 times 5. 20 is 4 times 5, and 4 is 2 times 2 times 5. Always want your prime factorization. Okay, lowest common multiple. Let's look at what they have in common for all three numbers. All three numbers have a 5. Okay, nothing else that all three have in common. So now let's go to what two of the numbers have in common. So I see 10 and 20 share a factor of 2, and that is it. So multiply by whatever's left over, and we multiply those together to get what the lowest common multiple is. So 5 times 2 times 3 times 2, and I get 60. So again, let's check this on the graphing calculator. So let's try again. We're going to go into math, over to number, down to LCM, and I want to do 10, 15, commas in between, and 20. Okay, close my bracket, and what do I get? Oh, no, we get an error. Does that mean we can't do it? No, nope. just means that we have to work our way around the system. So graphing calculator won't let you do three at a time. So back up the bus. We're going to close the bracket here and do them two at a time. So I'm going to do the LCM of 10 and 15 and then take that number with 20. So let's do it again. Math, number, LCM is 8. So the LCM of 10, 15, and 20 is the LCM of 10 and 15, which is 30, and then comma, we put that with 20, and then boom, 
we get 60. So great trick. I want to end just with a word problem. Okay, so my son Diego loves playing with Legos. Well, he did when he was littler, and he likes stacking them. So when he was little, he would stack up these blocks. Okay, so let's say he has blocks that are 12 centimeters, and he wants to stack it next to blocks that are 18 centimeters. He wants to continue doing this until the blocks are the same height. Okay, so you could like actually sketch this out, but I mean right here you can see they're not the same height. So let's say he puts another blue one and another red one. They're still not the same height. So he wants to stack multiple layers of blocks until they are the same height. Multiple layers, lowest common, multiple. This is an LCM question. So I'm really asking you to find the LCM of 12 and 18. Well, let's use that fantastic graphing calculator trick that we now know. We'll go in here and we're gonna do the LCM math over to number, option number eight, of 12 comma 18. And that is 36. So the highest level he can do is 36 centimeters. So that would be two of the red blocks. That's 36 centimeters right there. And three of the blue. So he would just need one more blue block and it would be the same height. So I hope this video on lowest common multiple helped and I look forward to seeing you for the next one.